My favourite experience in Italy so far would have to be hiking on the Amalfi Coast. Um, you drive right up into the mountains and hike all the way down to the bottom to this little town right above Positano and you can see the coast stretching out in front of you for miles and miles and at, right at the very end there's a fantastic restaurant called La Tagliata. Uh, the cooking course we did today was really fantastic. There's a chef, her name is Marcella, she's been cooking and working in restaurants since she was three years old. Uh, we handmade pasta, we cleaned and, and filleted our own fish, a whole fish. Uh, we made fresh gelato, just four ingredients in it. Um, it was absolutely fantastic and such a really uniquely Italian experience, I would say. My favorite experience in Italy so far has been um, making masks in Venice. We got to go to this artisan workshop, we had a teacher who instructed us for three hours how to paint and decorate it. It's really amazing. The most memorable experience I have so far about meeting a local person has probably been in the San Spirito Square in Florence. My colleague and I were having dinner and then all of a sudden a huge group of local Italian people all congregated together and started this communal dancing lesson. It was fantastic and we were watching them in awe and thinking, oh wow, so that's great, you know, I wish I could join in. We went and asked, we went and asked the leader of the group, who was a, a Firenze man, and he said, you know, come on, join in. And we learned some of the local folk dances from the south of Italy. My favourite neighbourhood church would have to be a little one called St Agostino in Rome because it contains one of my favourite Caravaggio paintings. He was an incredible painter because unlike other artists of his time, he chose to use people from his everyday life as models and even painted their dirty feet and everything. It's a really fantastic place to go. The most interesting Italian food that I've eaten so far um, is a, it's like a, a pastry cake. Uh, it's called a baba and um, we got it from a great little patisserie in the ancient old town of Naples and it's uh, yeah like a cake pastry it's just soaked in rum it's really sweet and really delicious. The best spot for people watching in Rome I think is Piazza Navona and um, so it's a long sort of uh, oval piazza it's got these beautiful, beautiful fountains in the middle and a lot of restaurants all along the sides. So people are just always milling about. It's locals, tourists, all sorts of different people. And it's just fantastic to kind of get a gelato, sit out and watch the world go by.